Nearly a decade ago, a national commission, commonly referred to as the Glenn Commission, produced a visionary report on the state of science and mathematics teaching in the nation. Quoting from the Glenn Commission report, in an age now driven by the relentless necessity of scientific and technological advance, the current preparation that students in the United States receive in mathematics and science is, in a word, unacceptable. I think we're still in basically the same situation we described in this report of being outcompeted. The United States, that irks me, the United States being outcompeted in this most important area of education. The report, entitled Before It's Too Late, described what's needed to produce and support first-rate teachers of science and mathematics. Sadly, no significant financial support from federal, state, or local government agencies has materialized. We, who are the stakeholders in science education, can no longer wait for something to happen. The time is now to launch a true revolution in science education. Science education in the United States is at a critical crossroads. We have a huge focus in our economy on technology and science and on the next generation. We have the opportunity to transform teaching and learning in ways that haven't been possible before the internet and the web. The future of, of America, uh, the future of our, of our kids is dependent on a strong scientific background, a strong uh, commitment to science education. We see that this is fundamental to our future as a country and it's fundamental to our economic prosperity that we continue to educate young Americans in math and science. We really need to do a better job training teachers and treating them as professionals and giving them ongoing professional development through their careers. That's what we still need to accomplish. For any endeavor to be successful, you've got to invest in developing people especially those who are going to be on the front lines. The National Science Teachers Association will put the Glenn Commission's recommendations into action. We are mounting a five-year, $43 million national effort to dramatically change the way we build leadership, enhance learning, and promote advocacy. An extraordinary state-of-the-art facility will house these programs and serve as a national gathering place for all teachers of science. We have named this new facility and its series of programs and initiatives the Center for Science Education. It's really amazing that the National Science Teachers Association has stepped up to make something happen. They're putting $20 million of their own money to make this academy, this virtual and real academy happen. Located minutes from our nation's capital, the Center for Science Education will advocate for quality science education, provide both a virtual and concrete science education learning center, and enable new teachers, science educators, administrators, and lawmakers to gather for symposia, conferences, and workshops. It's a place that when you look at it, that when, you, when, it, when it is done, it will represent a, a, a place, a locus of science and science learning in America. A hallmark and central design feature of the new building will be its world-class green architecture. Students around the nation will be able to directly interact with the center, strengthening their skills in science to become the environmentally savvy citizens of tomorrow. The Glenn Commission called for just-in-time, just-for-me help for science educators. The center will address this need through a state-of-the-art professional development portal that meets the needs of busy teachers. The e-portal being created by NSTA will provide the ability to distribute these online learning experiences to science teachers across the country. It's a very cost-effective model. Uh, it's very in tune with today's modern internet technology. The NSTA's vision for the Learning Center was very compatible with ULIT in that we were beginning to look into the digital age and the media of the 21st century. And through our work on open educational resources, we've been able to work with NSTA to make assets and content freely available for teachers and for students worldwide. NSTA's Leadership Institute will use the latest technologies to keep experienced science educators well informed and bring new teachers into the profession through a new Science Teacher Academy. NSTA's campaign for the future uh, makes capacity building a, a key priority and we're hopeful that the new Science Teacher Academy is going to help fulfill the vision of the campaign. A highlight of the building will be a multimedia training and conference center housing a technology smart webcasting studio for broadcasting programs and hosting virtual meetings on a global scale. 
The Center for Science Education will be a vital center of leadership, learning, and advocacy that is urgently needed to strengthen science education and ultimately improve U.S. student performance. Its programs and activities will implement the Glenn Commission's recommendations for supporting science education. When you look at the classroom, when you look at what's in the classroom, it's not the computers in the classroom that are magic. It's the teachers in the classroom that are magic. And the teachers are only magic if they get the right training, they're compensated appropriately, they get the opportunity for professional development. And that's what this capability of National Science Teachers Association is going to do. There will not be a better time to change the course of our children's and our grandchildren's future. A science education revolution is needed. And it is needed now. Be part of the revolution. You want a revolution. Well, you know, we all want to change the world. You can tell me.